Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City Four. Today, I'll be doing the best class setup for the Ram 7 here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, first way to describe this weapon is pretty much a well balanced, all around weapon. It's good for short range combat, it's great for medium range, and it's good for long range. So, it's a well balanced weapon. There's a lot of situations where I got out of from thanks to this weapon, you know, close range combat, medium range combat. I'll be showing you guys some clips right now so you guys can check it out. And uh, also, I've been posting, you know, the Ram 7. I'll be coming out with the best class setup because I've been, I already have it like 100% done. You know, I tested it out every single situation. I'm telling you, this Ram 7 is a well balanced AR. It might not be super accurate like the Kilo 141 or super high damage like the M41, but it's in between. It's an in-betweener, not between those two weapons. It's probably the third best assault rifle right now in the game compared to the Odin, the Scar, and uh, the other assault rifles that I haven't mentioned yet. You know, pretty much the Ram 7 stance is my number three best assault rifle right now in the game. So, because uh, there has been so many situations, I'm telling you, that it got me safe from. So, uh, let's go on with the uh, gunsmith so you guys can see the attachments for this weapon. So first things first, of course, to start off with the muzzle, the tactical suppressor. Keep your stealth. Keep it going you know without getting caught this suppressor is going to help you out a lot, help you out a lot so uh, I know some of you guys have questions, you know, why not the monolithic or the lightweight suppressor? You know, never install a lightweight suppressor unless you're holding an SMG or you're playing shipment because it lowers your damage range. So that means your damage is not going to be full when it comes down to the impact of the enemy's body. So never add the lightweight. I don't even know why they even have it here. But if you want to make your gun super lightweight and, and pretty much fast responsive, that's pretty much the attachment to go but never use that one the monolithic you might mess around with those two but the problem is if you add the monolithic your gun is not going to react as fast as you want it to be so it will be way too slow and it'll act like an lmg so you don't want to do that keep the tactical suppressor to keep the weight going and also the stealth the next attachment will be the barrel now this was quite important because without this attachment the gun becomes a little bit obsolete it doesn't work as well as the other assault rifles so the xrk ranger this one increases the, the, the damage range also the bullet velocity the recoil control gets good so uh you're pretty much going to be able to handle the damage pretty well the damage is going to be more consistent when hitting the enemy's body and you want that you want that at all times you don't want this gun to be bipolar sometimes it makes damage sometimes it doesn't know you maximize that range right now with the barrel and you'll see the biggest difference and the damage is going to be very strong when it comes down to facing several enemies at once so uh, the next attachment will be the under barrel, the commando barrel. Now this is this is one way to acquire targets really quick, and I already tested it out. You know, compared to the Ranger foregrip, the Ranger foregrip is really consistent when it comes down to shooting, but it doesn't acquire the target as fast as possible. You want to react fast, act the commando. Add, add the command foregrip so uh this increases the recoil stabilization and also aiming stability so uh and also there's a description there saying that uh you know pretty much you have steady aiming and all that stuff so uh test that out yourselves and you'll see the command foregrip actually reacts a lot better compared to the ranger so uh the next attachment will be the rear grip now this one increases the recoil control the more you control the recoil the better because this gun without this one pretty much it acts like it's super weak and for some reason you know the it goes all over your screen so act the, add the recoil control it's a lot better like this it's a lot better backwards compared to the ranger for it being in the front and then pretty much aiming stability add it like this and you'll be you'll see the biggest difference it acts like it acts way better like this test it out yourselves and you'll see the, the, the accuracy will be increased and the stability is pretty much great like this so the next attachment will be the optic you can use whatever you want you know this is up to you but i use the combat hollow side because i see it a lot better you know i see more of the field i see where the bullets how they how they impact the enemy pretty well so i use the hollow side most of the time so you guys can use whatever you can use the 4.0 you can use the a mop you can use the vlk you know use whatever you want but i personally use the combat hollow side because i see more clearly through that one so uh, that's pretty much the attachments and how you set up the ram 7 to pretty much act like a well balanced all-around weapon it acts pretty well the only negative things about this it doesn't have quick reaction when it comes down to super super close range combat, which is like enemies that are like five feet away from you. Sometimes it does, but from hip fire, which is kind of weird. It acts better at hip fire when it comes down to close range combat compared to like aiming down sides as fast as possible. So, I mean, even if you try to aim, it won't aim as fast. So, uh, it is it is quite mysterious how that works, but I'm telling you, it still works as an all around weapon. 
try it out yourselves test it out test it out in query test it out in shipment or in uh what's it called shoot house and you'll see how this gun pretty much acts pretty well with uh any kind of situation so that's my best class setup for the ram 7 you guys got any questions any moans groans or complaints leave it in the comment section i'll read it later so Later on, guys, my next best class setup will be the MP7, or if not, the, uh, I believe, the M41 Marksman. So uh, that's the best class setup, guys, for the Ram 7. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys later.